Mark again, and we are going to work with our project now to actually generate AES keys. Now it's important to generate secure AES keys. Um, so let's get into that a little bit and I'll start this by creating a new package in my project. And I'll just call it keys. Now inside this package, I'm going to actually just create a little helper function. It's going to have, it's going to be a class with a static member function that just kind of shows you how to use uh, secure random and the key generator uh, for AES to generate these keys and put them inside the standard secret key that's inside Java. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, now that we have the static function that we need for generating secret keys, uh, let's walk through a little bit about what it means here. We're gonna create a secure random. You're always gonna wanna use secure random in your Java program so that you make sure you create keys with a high level of entropy. Uh, then of course you create a key generator. That key generator is used to generate a uh, uh, mechanism so that we can have keys. The uh, instance is for AES keys and then we'll go ahead and initialize it for a 256-bit key using the random secure and then we will return the key generated. Now to test this we're just going to go ahead and add some test code and we'll see the uh, test code here in a bit so I will go ahead and enter that code and then talk a little bit about how the test works okay now you see we have a uh, test that should verify that a different key gets generated each time and that key should have strong entropy. Um, we have one more bug back here. I'd accidentally put AEA keys instead of AES keys. And so let's go ahead and we can run this test as a Java unit test. And we'll see, yes, the key is an AES key, and it was encoded into a base64 encoding. So what this function does is it just grabs a new key from our static member function, prints out the key algorithm, base64 encodes the key, and then prints that key out. And you see if we run it, of course, if we run it again, we're going to see a, a different key come up. If you run as Java unit test, you're going to see, yes, the key is now different. And that's it for this way to generate strong keys. Now you have a good way to generate strong AES keys for your applications. Thank you.